is Talbar Tzvi. I'm with the R&D in Tabula for the last three years. Today we're going to speak about the RED method. What are top three key metrics for any service? Do you want that it will be a common knowledge that your team will know what are top three metrics for each service? If you answered to yourself yes to one of those questions, so this presentation is for you. RED method stands for R for rate, E for error, and D for duration, okay? Yes. Good. Rate is the number of requests per second, per minute. The error rate, how much failed out of the total, and the duration, what's the response time? Example, so red monitoring is okay. If the rate is, for instance, not less than 1,000 query, uh, query per second or QPS, no more than 5% error in total, and the duration is no more than 20 milliseconds, 99th percentile. So if you will have that to one of your services, you will look at it as a black box, and you will know that the basic functionality is just okay. There is a fourth one, which is part of the four golden signals, which is red plus, which is the saturation how much the service or the CPU or my service is full. Mainly production IT use that. Concentrate only in the red and the first three, okay? Why does this matter right now? The answer is you can help others. You can help your team. If somebody come over and people come over to me and ask me what to monitor, for your basic answer, consider red as a starting point for monitoring, for observation. My story is I'm using that all the time. So that's my story. I really use that for all my services. So this is a real life example from one of my dashboards. It's a, I'm in the user data. So you can see here the identity graph. I have a monitor and it, it took you around five seconds to see that there is a duration issue in Singapore. So the D in Singapore is, is we have an issue with the D in Singapore and all other data centers are okay. And I just want to reiterate that now, more than ever, alerts come first, dashboards and everything comes second, all it's as a troubleshooting aid because we're not in front of monitors anymore. We're at homes waiting for the alerts to come. I will do a drill down. Of course, when you have this duration issue in Singapore, you want to see the drill down. So you will see it over time. Here you can see the rate over time. Here you see that we have problems with the rate every day, almost every day, and here it's okay. You can see here the error, uh, error issues started around this point and it happens daily. And you can see the duration issues started a few days ago. And it gives you the basic overview as a black box of your service. Here you can see multiple issues. We have error issues, we have duration, uh, duration issues. In Chicago, only duration, in Hong Kong, rate issues. LA and New Jersey are clean. It took you five seconds to see the global situation around the world. Would you like to have the same thing for your services? Oh, yes. It's not that difficult. Let me show you how to do that in Prometheus, okay? Using Prometheus with PromQL in a single query, so you can see the you can see the rate. Here you have the threshold. Here you have the error rate. Again, the threshold one and a half percent, and the duration twenty five milliseconds in the P ninety nine. So I created these three metrics, and I'm using it in the same query using the plus operator, and I'm using what I'm calling a decimal bit mask. So if I will have two issues, I will have one on this digit. And if I will have duration, I will have one on this digit. You get the idea here? But here you basically spit out a number that is a 101 or 001 or whatever. Yes. How do you, how do you use that number? In Grafana, I can translate numbers into labels. Oh, okay. So that's a very easy way to do red using Prometheus, very, very easy. Uh, we didn't invent the wheel. We have existing places in Tabula that use that. 
for instance, this amazing visualization from Netflix. You can see here the error percent, the error rate. You can see here even the saturation. You see here how much that's the fourth, the fourth uh, metric. You see here how much is saturated. People use that already to have it that clear that you will have intuition when you look at graphs. Let's do a short summary and then we'll open to questions. What did you get? You heard about the red method and that's an, you know right now that it's an industry standard, Google's SRE book. You know how to help your team. If somebody in your team asks you what's the basic bare minimum to observe, you can tell him, consider doing red method observability. And I think that's the value I wanted to, that you will have this morning. You can do that in many services that you own. And we can move right now to demo and for questions. So basically a system may have more than one red measurement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suggest to have this as bare minimum and eat for each and every service in our system mm -hmm. as a black box. You can take few services that it, you really care about and it will be very easy language, very straightforward language. I can show you how I do that in Grafana. Uh, this, mm -hmm. I, here I get a drill down for the red method and I can see the drill down in Amsterdam, in Hong Kong and I can see side by side that everything is very nice. You looking at it in the red uh, glass. It's very nice. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, how, how did you do that? They they appear uh, sideways. I oh, I th I will show you that. Thank you for asking. Edit. Show options. Um, I think it's in the repeat. Oh, repeat, yeah. repeat domain horizontal. Did I answer your question? But I will try that. It, so it, you it, set a it, variable and then you say, oh, nice. Yeah, set a variable and... It's very nice. You can see things side by side. It's very nice. Looks good. It's not complex, right? Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I like simple stuff. Any other questions, guys? That is pretty awesome. I think. It teaches more good. magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, this, this time it's not magic. This time is methodology. Very which nice. Is, no. Which is even better. Well, oh, oh, let me show you this. Uh, you see the R, E, D. And then I think that you asked me, Gabe, how do I make the magic of translating those numbers? So uh, here, you see? Got it. Oh, there you are. Uh, value, ma value mapping. Got it. So you basically map your bit, your number to a something. Yeah. Nice. This is, can you That's send good. us the link of this dashboard so I can? Yes, can, absolutely. Absolutely. And study it. Thank okay. you very much for listening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Send send me the recording and uh, every link you have for the slides and stuff. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Bye bye. It's all very cool. And if you want, you can uh, connect with me in LinkedIn. I'm posting all my, uh, my lectures there.